Tell me if this sounds familiar. I don't want to do math. It takes too long. It's too hard. I can't I just do it later? Can I just go clean my room or something? Okay, maybe not the room thing. Yeah, we've all done the tears thing in my house too. Math doesn't have to be that way. In fact, math can be a lot of fun. And with these seven games, math can change in your house. Sleeping Queens, my kids love this game. It makes it easy for young kids to play and finding those patterns. You could do this with subtraction. You can do this with addition. Pull that out and say, okay, look, three and five and eight, and all three of those numbers go together. We could say eight minus five gives us three. We could say three plus five gives us eight. And you know what's also brilliant about it is because it was designed and created by a young elementary schooler. She came up with this game and her mom was like, wow, brilliant child, let's go sell your game. Game. It's such a fun game and my kids play this all the time. If your kids really enjoy Sleeping Queens, I would definitely up the ante and check out Candy Thief. It is like the cutest game ever. And so what you're doing is you are adding sums up to 20. So pairing numbers again, and you are trying to steal <laughs> the most amount of candy by the end of the game. There's a little candy thief, there's a little jail cell. It is such a good resource in getting those math facts, especially for double digits, up. So here's the reason why I love Blockus so much, is that it gives you spatial reasoning, it's a logic puzzle, it's colorful, it's engaging, and almost any age can do it. And teaching them the basic theory of how it works and how those things fit together is gonna prep their brain for math. It is brilliant on so many levels and one of our favorite games to pull out. The next favorite math game is Sequence. Sequence has all these great patterns that you're pulling from and it is easy to pick up on and it also gives you logic, it gives you strategy. This is absolutely working that brain, getting that logic thinking and in a fun, interesting way. I've also seen this game where they do it in geography form where you can study and practice the states. Brilliantly laid out. I know that doesn't necessarily have to do with math, but it's like a two for one. Two for one geography and math, yay! Oh, those kids are yelling. <laughs> Hopefully they don't wake up Henry. I've got two babies napping right now. <laughs> I'm hoping my kids aren't being too noisy that they're gonna wake them up. One of the first games that I got when we first started homeschooling was a game called Shut the Box. We went to like a colonial reenactment and there was this little girl and she had this box, this wooden box with all these little flipper, flipper, little, the flip flip things flip flip things and what you did was you rolled the dice and you slowly maneuvered your dice down and you add the numbers up or you split them apart or you know there's various ways to win the game so there's a lot of strategy involved and math involved and it's an old time game and i think that was actually my original getting oh shoot the baby woke up there you go. oh there we go i swear you say I know. I'm gonna join us for the rest of this video. Just don't burp all over me. Okay, kid. Where was I? So Shut the Box was like the first game that I bought for our homeschool, and it was also the first time I realized, you know what? I should have games. And that was like the real journey in finding great homeschool games for our homeschool. All of those addition games, I'm like, oh, well and good. Logic games, sure. But what we're really struggling with is multiplication. What kind of games do you have for multiplication? Combo Clash, my friends. Combo Clash is a very unique game that pulls all of the cards into an array, and so it literally shows children how the groups of numbers work in reference to multiplication. It's very easy to play. My young kids were very quick to pick it up, and it helped them retain a lot of their multiplication facts. And so when we were having struggles with our math, I'd say, you know what, let's play this instead. And they were like, yeah. I'd much rather play that. Now this isn't a game that you can just buy. It's called Multiplication War, but you can play this game with any pack of cards. So here's how you play. We're gonna play today with our Rook cards. I'm gonna divide them up 50-50. And then what we do is each player plays down two cards from their hand. And then the player who is practicing their multiplication multiplies the two cards. Four times one is four, two times one is two and whoever has the higher factor takes the cards. If they both equal out to the same amount, for instance, 10 times three is 30 and five times six is 30, then that would be a case for war. You lay down three cards and then whoever flips over the highest amount wins the hand and they take all of the cards. The game ends 
when one player has collected all of the cards. Here's the deal. Math gives us so many positive benefits like critical thinking skills, logic, mental discipline. It's not about memorizing facts fast. It's about building up mental strength. Hello. Just so be sad if you do not like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Teaching math does not need to be intimidating, but if you are worried or struggling with it, I would definitely recommend checking out this video for some more help on math. It takes too long. Henry! <laughs>